Hello everybody. In this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson, I'm going to demonstrate and uh, show you how to code out and graphically create all the elements on stage in Flash that you need for a browse and upload files using um, Action Script 3. So you, you build a little application that lets users upload files to you and it gives them a nice uh, upload progress bar. Uh, that's dynamic that runs to show them the upload progress uh, which you don't get with uh, traditional HTML upload forms and uh, it's kinda cool stuff like MySpace and YouTube does uh, so uh, if you have upload abilities for your members on your websites to upload files you might want to use this flash so you can give them a better indication of what's going on uh, so uh, let's go ahead and check it out let's click browse file so I'm going to click browse file opens the file dialog the, uh, to search my computer and you see it only lets them uh, upload the files that I specify within, within the filter arrays in ActionScript there's two filter uh, definitions and then they're packed into an array in ActionScript and one is for text files one's for images and you can set whatever types extensions you want in there okay so let's grab an image take that white squirrel right there and it loads the name into this dynamic text field here waiting on stage so you can see the name of the image the user sees the name and then the upload it now button appears magically and a uh, progress bar so when they hit upload it now I made a little flashing movie clip that appears that says uploading please be patient and there's the progress bar moving right along you can also easily implement progress text and put the text percentage uh, running along with that bar but it would be redundant all you need is the bar or the text one or the other you don't really need both people understand what progress bars are and what they do and they understand that when the end of it happens it's a hundred percent so you really don't need the progress text in there uh, so when it gets finished what will happen is it'll give the user a little message saying with the text of the name of the file in it right here here it comes there it is it says image blah 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 dot jpeg has been uploaded and the upload button is gone you'll notice and the progress bar is gone and there's some pretty tricky things I do in flash to make that happen you'll notice once you open download the FLA file the source files and you download the FLA and you look at the action script you'll see how I did it um, and what's cool is they can just upload another one so uh, let's see upload a smaller one this time so it goes faster and there's the uh, progress bar shows up again and the uh, the upload it now button is back again it's magic so there it goes it's uploaded nice and quick and then you'll see the text string down here changes to say this new .jpg has been uploaded develop php.jpg has been uploaded the upload button's gone and the main the uh, load bar is gone so it's exactly what you need and it loads the image on your server it uploads the image to your server to a file a folder called images which is also in the package everything you need is in that package so go ahead and download it but uh, let's take a look at the action script now and the stage on stage I have uh, well I have three layers up in the timeline uh, that have elements on them and we have the first one is the blocker clip and you'll notice if I move my blocker clip it's a movie clip it's just a white rectangle that's all it is it's a movie clip that can be set to invisible or visible depending on the need in the code so if I move it you'll see there's my uploaded now button progress bar and that little movie clip so let's go ahead and put that back and that's on its own layer all by itself and then the upload elements are uh, it's everything for the form and then this big white uh, rectangle is on its own layer and it's called background and that's pretty much it so all the form elements for the upload are on the uploader elements layer there and now at the action scripts layer on the action script layer we'll take a look inside and I'll try and explain the code really quickly but I've commented above all of the the areas of importance where things are going uh, to fire off and happen so you can reference what is happening where and change things up if you need to uh, 
So the first thing we do is we set the flashing movie clip. You press 9 to open your actions panel, by the way. Uh, but we set the flashing movie clip, that's the uh, the word, little blue words here that flashes. We set that to invisible. So visible equals false. Then we make our URL request variable. And then uh, we set our image types filter and our text types filter here and then we pack them both into a, an array called all types and you can define more if you like in there um, videos mp3s this is a really good application for uploading videos and mp3s because it shows that progress really nice uh, so something like youtube and myspace and facebook would do in their upload applications so you can be like the big boys with this um, and then we set the uh, the file reference here. The file reference object right there is claimed. Then we add event listeners for the file reference. There's a, uh, a select, complete, and the progress listeners. And then those uh, functions name the function names for those three listeners are right here. And then the functions are down below here. Here's all the functions. There's one, two, three, four, five functions that fire off at the appropriate times when they need to according to what's happening and go ahead and download the FLA file look inside of it read the comments above the code um, if you've dealt with action script before inside of every function you'll know exactly what's going on so it's kinda like contact form script but it adds the the element of file upload so like I said you could I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can add an email and a name input field here, and then when they press upload it, it'll be like a contact form. You can put uh, an email function in your PHP script to email everything to you, load everything to the server, all kind of nifty things. Uh, but if you just want a file upload mechanism, this is the one. Uh, so let's see. There's a progress handler. This is the one that deals with setting the progress bar to uh, show the upload progress. And I have mine set to 200 pixels, and uh, you can set it to any length you want. And then the complete handler function, the sync up the variables, synchronize variables function right there. And then the uh, this pretty much just loads everything up and uh, gets it ready to be sent to the PHP file and then the upload vars is the one that actually uh, uploads it all of these things this function right here uploads all of these things and then file reference that opens the browse box and then uh, that's pretty much it hope you enjoy this one and I'll be expanding upon this to put in error handling in the PHP we'll check out max file uh, We'll set a max file definition, a max uh, file size definition. Sorry. So if you wanted the MP3 that the person's uploading to be, you know, five megabytes max, five uh, five megabytes max, then you can uh, have that happen with some error handling. And I'm going to be expanding upon this to make different things happen. I might even put the contact form together with file upload or website form with file upload capabilities. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson. We hope you enjoy this one.